Hi y'all, I'm Cayman, and welcome back to me just playing The Sims. So, um, y'all might notice some changes down here. First off, I added my real life cat to the game. His name is Plague, and he's the most talkative cat ever. In you. He's not exactly like my real life cat, because my real life cat has little white splashes on, um, Indra's arms. But he's close enough. And also, we have a, um, a joke character. Hopefully, um, the game will let me keep him. Because his name is Dang Mango. Might want to call him Dan Mango if, um, it says there's profanity. But if you ask me, Dang is not a bad word. But, um, this guy started out as a joke between me, my father, and... A friend of me and my dad I'll link his YouTube in the description and um, I made fruit sushi for the first time ever and I put mangoes in it and I had the hardest time picking up the sushi without all the fruit falling out it was not very well made I failed at it but um, I said while trying to pick up the mango with some chopsticks Dang Mango. <laughs> and that's how that started. So we have Dang Mango. He's... He kind of looks like a mango. I gave him red, red hair and big purple anime eyes. He's also... He also wants a soulmate. He's creative. He's a foodie. And he's lazy. Because that Mango did not want to get off the plate. And we also have my baby boy. He's affectionate, talkative, and frisky. And that describes my cat perfectly. Except uh, we need a fourth trait. He needs to be a glutton too. Because uh, my baby boy's a fat boy. But, uh, alright, let's get in the game. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Clear all those. Huh? Uh, what are you up to? You're going to sleep. That's fine. What is Dang Mango up to? Oh yeah, he walks like that. Mm? Uh -huh. I need to give him a room. Uh -huh, yes. I also need to put some stuff out for Plague. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Wait, where did Dang Mango go? He went outside. What's he doing? Is he going to the grill? Alright, uh, let's see. Pet stuff. We need this. We need this. But not that bowl. This. We need... Man, this house is so white. I want... This one. Of course it doesn't fit there, because there's a column in the way. There we go. Plague gets this. Look at how cute that is. Um, there's no room for a cat litter box in this bathroom. Sorry, Plague. But there is room for one in this bathroom, so. Plague can go next to the shower. I mean, if I did this, then there'd be more room. Litter boxes in every bathroom. <laughs> Solar panels are still doing good. 
Alright, now time to give Dang Mango a room. Let's uh, move the kitchen table. And move this wall. I'm gonna give uh, Dang Mango his um, own basement apartment. Where's the camera settings? There we go, that's better. There we go. Oh, dang, Nabbit. Right, is that better? Nope. There we go. I'm going to put a wall right there, going there, <laughs> have a door right there. There we go. And I want to copy this. I also want to grab this. And add some more color to this house. And uh, I say that as I'm making everything white. But maybe Mango's room will be more colorful. Oh, look at that yellow. Look at that yellow. Yes. I mean, he is based off of Mango, so. Uh, um, oh, this room is room going to be an eyesore? Looking very Mango-y. No, I think, um... Over here should wood. Kind of gave him the um, island vibe. Because um, mangoes are a tropical fruit. Oh, come on, I need something out there. These beds are not out there enough. That's out there. I like this one. Maybe two of them. Where did all these simoleons come from?
<laughs> That's funny. And then just like scoot. Yeah. There we go. That's better. That's better. Better. Better, better. I don't know what accent I was pulling there, but... Oh, I know, I should be using the movie hangout stuff. That's just colorful. Oh, it already got, um... Oh, wrong thing. Uh, I yeah, this thing. And that colorful. What other colors does it have? None of them are muted. Except for that one. I like that version, but this one goes better with mango. Yeah, that one goes better with mango. And when I said apartment, I meant he's actually getting his own little... Um, there's a little kitchen over here. Because I'm also going to do all of these simoleons. Ooh, red cabinets. I can get a red island too if I wanted. I don't know why I'm having everything match. Let's see, what bar stools do I want? What is out there? What screams dang mango? Yellow. And orange. There we go. And he gets a sink right there. You know what? Let's give him a dishwasher. A blue one. Perfect. You know what I think would be great in this room? Some art. What one that looks like it's an outdoor scene? Kind of like this, but uh, not quite. Actually, that might work. There you go, mangoes grow on trees. Yeah, I like that one best. That is neat looking. This is the worst kitchen I've ever seen, but... Actually, um... Let's do a different backsplash for the kitchen. Maybe not that. No. I already think I have enough red. Blue? Blue is really fancy. Kind of 80s or 70s. Oh, that green was pretty 70s. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm looking at it longer and I don't hate it. Well, I do hate it, but at the same time, I don't. All right, let's uh, work on the bathroom. You know what? He should have a very colorful bathroom. An orange bathroom. Oh, Lord have mercy. 
guess. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, uh, that's, this bathroom is, oh, I wish I had this one unlocked, then I could, um, because this one comes in all sorts of different funky colors, all the other toilets are boring, except I don't want to give them a, um, toddler toilet. I don't want to give him the really fancy one either. Oh, the, uh, oh, the talking toilet. The talking toilet. Yes. <laughs> the talking toilet. And, uh, let's see about... A green sink. Yeah, he needs a way to work on his charisma, so how about... This, uh... Really? Really, the door is in the way? Ugh. You're ruining. You're ruining it. I wanted it in the center. Could put the door on the other end. Oh no! Uh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Um, a little bit more than. There we go. So now I can have this go all the way back here. And this centered. There we go. That's a big bathroom. That's a very big bathroom. Can I put the... No, yeah. I can. Can I do this? No. Can I do this? I can go that high. Can I go this high? Yeah, can I go this high? Here we go. He has to go through two different doors just to go to the bathroom. Hopefully nobody puts anything on. And I'm going to make the half wall slightly shorter. No. Eh, too short. I want to put... Nope. Hopefully nobody will put anything on that. Yeah, oh, that's still in the normal part of the house, so. Put a light there. So you can see where he's going. There needs to be a little wall right there. Because, uh, this looks a little weird. There we go, that looks better. Can I put a column there? It's an out there column. Ooh. Aww. 
of this uh, basement part apartment is um, shaping, up be shaping up to be really interesting. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna give him something to do down here. Uh, let's give him... this and I want an out there sofa mm, not different from the other one He's got to have a plant. It's a more out there looking plant. Um, these are pretty out there. Uh, let's do orange. Orange, y'all glad I am doing this. Okay, one can't fit over there. Oh, and then isn't this um, isn't this something? All right, he's already got a stereo on that thing. Um, see, I made him creative, so let's give him let's give him a little desk. Actually, better yet, let me put a laptop. Right. No, I can't put it right there, even though that would be a very good spot for it. Well, fine. I'll put a laptop right there. And an easel right here. Okay, this is uh, Dang's apartment. Locked door for everyone but Dang. Dang, why don't you uh, go here? I forgot we were holding a club meeting last time. Wow, Dang's little space versus the rest of the house is completely different. Of course, he walks normal going downstairs. What do you think, Dang? You like it? Just walk through the plant. <laughs> this is your space, dude. I think he likes it. He hasn't said anything bad. Why don't you write a book? Just give you something to do. Alright, Plague is being absolutely adorable. Here, I'll put that book out for y'all. He's eating. What am I up to? I'm sleeping. Dang is writing a book. Plague is chasing his tail. Marcus is back to eating. Oh, Marcus, you should probably fill that pet food bowl. Oh, 
Well, they are leaving books everywhere. All right. Wait, where'd Platt go? There he is. He heard there was food. All right, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Um, let's uh, end it watching Plague eat adorably. Marcus, you just got a shot. Nope, and he's gone. Where'd he go? He's going upstairs. In real life, my cat is very, um, very scared of people. So he would avoid the party if there was a party. And she's hungry. And why did Plague come in here and meow? But yeah, Plague is, uh, very talkative in real life. And yes, he actually does chase his tail in real life. Anyway, that's the uh, end of this episode. And I will see y'all next time.